couple of days ago, Midjourney announced version 5.2 update with some super exciting new features like zoom out and shorten comment to analyze our prompts. I had some experiments with it, which was quite fun, especially with the new zoom out feature to create these images and these ones starting from a simple texture like this to achieve something more like this. Before this update, I was usually just using Photoshop Generative Fill to extend the canvas, which works quite smoothly, but having this feature directly available inside Midjourney is just way more convenient. The possibilities with zoom out are endless, but what I found works really nice is to add more depth to the image. Usually the composition you receive from Midjourney can be quite generic, but with zoom out, we can change the composition. Like this portrait photo of this woman is absolutely amazing. I really don't think anyone can say this picture is not real but we can make it even better i zoom out once with 2x and now we have these long grass plants in the foreground and it created this depth effect which looks pretty cool i think another cool addition to the zoom out we can easily change the aspect ratio of an image we like without going to any other additional software you can click custom zoom change the aspect ratio you want and use dash dash zoom one so it won't zoom out but only change the aspect ratio of the original original image or you can just use it to create an infinite zoom effect like this I thought if it will be possible to create simple pattern texture maybe even with the tile command so it will be seamless and then somehow transfer that pattern into the building facade material so you can have more control over all the small design details because it is easier to just create the texture first and then use that constantly throughout the design first I will just create a seamless texture actually it doesn't need to be seamless but it is up to you I want to create a clay like material maybe for a 3d into the facade. Once I like one of the textures, I will upscale it. And different from previous versions, now we have these zoom out buttons for 1.5, 2, and custom zoom. If you just want to simply zoom out, you can choose direct 1.5 or 2x zoom option. But I think most of the time you will choose the custom zoom because once we click on the custom zoom button, similar to the remix mode, we have this additional prompt box where we can add a new prompt to affect the zoom out versions of our image. And in addition to that, we can specify any values between 1 and 2 for the zoom value. I will change the prompt slightly to transform it to a facade of the building. I added architectural elevational shot, close up view, curved shape windows on the facade and hit generate. Then we get something like these ones, but the shapes are too big. I want a tinier versions of this pattern. So let's go one step back. I will zoom out once without changing the prompt just to have a smaller shapes. And then we can change our prompts to transform it to a facade. As you can see now, it is more dense with smaller patterns. I will keep repeating the same logic a couple of times more. And in the next one, I will remove keywords like close up shot from the prompt because we will start to see the whole building facade as a white shot. Another trick we can use to control composition a bit better is if you want to see for example this upper part more we can use custom zoom change the aspect ratio to something portrait like 4 by 5 and keep the zoom value 1 so it won't zoom out just it will add more details to top and bottom part of the image. Once you like one of them you can use the make square option to zoom out more and change the ratio of the image back to square if you want to and after after a couple of more generations, we have something like this as a final image. Of course, you can continue zooming out infinitely, but after some point, you will start to get a weird fish eye effect like this. So it is better to keep it at some level. Here are some of the other ones I created with this workflow. An important reminder about zoom out, keep in mind that it doesn't actually change the image resolution size. So the images you generate are still same size. So if you zoom out a lot, you will start to lose lots of details from the initial image. I am planning to make another more detailed video about this workflow. Please let me know in the comments if it is something you are interested in. Another really amazing addition we have with this new update is the shorten comment. It didn't get lots of attention as zoom out because it doesn't have a direct effect on the final images we generate. But I think it is an even more important feature than out painting because it lets you understand how actually mid journey is thinking. Up to this point, we didn't have any option to understand this other than the trial and error. Now you can copy a prompt to shorten and it will create a report showing which keywords will have the most and 
and least effect on the image. The ones with the bold mean they are important ones with the major effect. Normal ones mean they will have some effect but nothing significant. And if it's crossed like this, Mid Journey will completely ignore them. On the lower side, we have five options for our initial prompt with the most important keywords and it keeps shortening till the last one. And if you press the show more button, we will have an even more detailed report with the exact factor of each word together with this graph showing the most important top 5-6 keywords. I think it is really useful to understand how to create better prompts with this new command. After I tested out some of the prompts, I figured out that if there is a specific location in the prompt, most of the time it becomes the most influential part of the prompt and in addition to that, most of the time artist names have a dramatically high effect. Another thing I realized is I was thinking keywords like 88 couldn't have any impact over the image in mid journey so I was never using it but according to shortened command it does have some effect because in all of them it was showing as bold. So I tested out with the same prompt with the same seat number once with and once without the 8k and here are the results so you can compare it yourself. Do you think adding keywords like 8k improves the overall quality? And lastly I wanted to see how actually these super long prompts work. I don't think they work nicely but let's see. I will use this prompt from the mid journey subreddit as we can see after some point mid journey just ignores everything so if your prompt is longer than 50 60 characters long whatever you add after that will get ignored so keep this in mind and try to keep it short I was not using the variation button so much till this update because normally it was affecting the overall image very little. If you are lucky maybe you could fix some minor parts you don't like. But now with this new update if you change it to high variation mode it actually changes significantly while keeping the overall vibe the same. And I think it's a nice option to create alternatives once you like one of the images. We have these two options for each upscaled image to create variations. It will generate both options for this image we generated and here are the results with original low and height variation modes. In the low mode the camera angle overall building position and the shape is the same but it adjusted the facade a bit and created different kinds of openings but on the other hand with the high mode we have completely new camera angles and volumes with the same material and overall vibe and the color palette. This mode also affects the normal variation button so I have created variations for this image of a cool project with both versions you can see low mode on the left and the high mode on the right side what do you think about this version 5.2 update i hope you liked the video please let me know if you're interested in a more in-depth texture to facade workflow video if so i can create a video about it i have posted all of the images from the video on my instagram account you can find them there and see you in the next video